What is up guys? Welcome back to Germany. We're, we've gone a little bit further, right? I did see you playing KFC, but there's a chance we can avenge our last loss in the league, which has been a long old while. But let's get straight into it, see how we get on. Hamburger SV today. We need a performance because I really want to go up this year. Well, here we go. Confirmation, we are playing Hamburger today. Before we get stuck into this, please like, subscribe and comment down below how you feel about this save. How are you doing? And I'm really enjoying this save. I've never enjoyed a save like this in ages. Something we get getting it as well is that the Crooktown saves youth challenge things kind of on the back burner now because the database was released, then unreleased because there's something wrong with the editor, which is fair enough. They've absolutely smashed it to get out this quick. So that'll be waiting a while. So we've got a little bit more time to get proper deep into this but here we are 45 points Heidenheim first with 46 I'm buzzing here like we're doing really well we're 10 points clear of Hamburg who we play today we are genuinely playing so so well we're on an unbeaten streak like if you look at this we lost it let's, let's, we'll talk about that in a second even all that um, last time we lost was in August and it was 2-1 against this team since then we've absolutely been flying you'll see some mental goals we've put in Last time you saw us was against Schalke. Um, a lovely 3-2 win there, but since then we've really kicked on. St. Pauli's new manager took over for this game. And 5-0, you know you're bad when Perez is getting two goals. There is something else. Perez, who has done nothing for this entire bit here, he, he scored four some he scored four against Adaborn. We're gonna come back for that one. But then as I saw it, I was like, there's a distinct chance we will be unbeaten by the time we play Hamburg again. So Perez got four there. I think he's getting, he's he's just found goal scoring form. I, yeah. How many has he got now? I, I don't know where it's come from. I don't have a clue where it's come from, like, but he's played 13 and he scored seven. So his, his record that was looking absolutely pathetic has increased very, very well. We have a transfer window that's been and gone. We did actually have a player leave. So I'll have a look at him. Oh, we had two. Sorry, we had two. I didn't actually realize both had went. Patrick Pfeiffer, the centre-back who really wasn't getting game time and he was starting to kick off, causing me a little bit of an issue. He has went to Udinese, which is a, a mental, because they're in Serie A. They're, in, they're eighth in Serie A. Like, I don't know how he's got that move, but he's went to Udinese for next to nothing. I was more relieved because it got him off the wage bill. The wage bill looking a lot healthier now, which we have a look in a second. Next person who went was Tits. Philip Tits went to Erzeberg, who obviously are in the relegation zone in our league yeah another player off the wage bill we got a little bit of money it wasn't a lot but i felt like we didn't really need him 670 pound a week now over which is a lot better than the 11 grand it was <laughs> like after that episode i had to give i think i give Sarge Allen a new contract and yeah it just poked it over it just absolutely shagged me same with this one here Nail that it just shagged me but <laughs> I need to stop saying that. But we're doing really well. I managed to bring in one player because I thought, right, uh, Philip Teets is going. I do need to get a replacement. So Hugo Novo, he came in. He's from Leipzig. Obviously, Leipzig, brilliant at finding youth. Really, really getting them kind of out of... I mean, he's come from Deportivo La Coruña, who were also incredibly good in the past. Valued at 140 to 1.4 million. We're not paying for him. So that, to me, is an absolute green flag to get that guy in. Hasn't played yet. Might go on today as a sub, but you know, we're flying, there's not much more to say apart from we're doing extremely well. This was disappointing. Obviously, that's where Philip Teets went. They're in their bottom of the league, they are rock bottom of the league. Pa if St. Pauli goes down, I'll be heartbroken because St. Pauli, I do like my punk music, I know they're very influenced by that kind of thing. It'll be a shame to see them go down. Schalke, firmly mid table, Hanover 96, 12th, better Bremen 6, but today we do have Hamburg. I've already picked the team. This is what we're going with today. We have Schuin in goal. We have Isherwood, Muller, Sobiek and Bader at the back. Kemp, Sheldar, Sese and Honsak. With Perez and Sardal up front. Novo's on the bench. I need to give Shark. I'm going to put Shark on. Shark can come on the right. Then a Kemp. Kemp can get some time off of the bench. There's a lot of players whinging about um, playing and stuff. Kind of, it, that what kind of rocked us. I started playing people that I didn't really feel comfortable playing. And it did kind of really frustrate me. But we're back to who I want to play now. Let's get stuck into Hamburg. 
Well, oh, I don't even know what they're playing. Can we see their, their tactics, please? Here we go. 5 2 1 2 wing back. A lot of people in this division play five at the back. Something that I have struggled with previously with that West Ham save, which is still going, by the way. The end of the second season will be up soon. Kind of take it at my own pace. Shark. Look for a pass, Sharky boy. Sesse. Sesse. You know, before we'll pause this game really quick, Sesse has actually been in the African Cup of Nations. I've been without him for a while. He's come back. He's wanted by a lot of clubs for to kind of offer him a contract and give him a lot more game time than I did really want. So Sierra Leone, I can't even say the name of it. They lost every game. They lost every game. Group E. Equatorial Guinea. Algeria. And it's, a, it's a difficult. Algeria and Ivory Coast in your group is not really what you want, is it? In the African Cup of Nations for a team like Sierra Leone. Jumeirah. The Doyle. Latzel. The Jota. The Jatta, sorry. Jatta is his name. Kinsombi. Schnau. Schlon. Schong. I can't even say these guys' names. They're knocking it around very, very well, which is something we really do need to try and get a grip on as we get into this game. But, you know, both teams, we, we do kind of struggle at the start. What an absolute rocket from Tommy Doyle. Where has that come from? Jesus Christ. He has no chance my keeper expected that to come off his fucking foot. Pardon me, French. Um, what has happened here? He just hit it for, like, bang. I can't really blame Shewan for that, can I? Where has that come from? We are 1-0 down early on. Schnelled out of the free kick. Back post. Muller. Oh, what? Wait, what? Well, he wasn't offside. He, he just wasn't. He's nowhere near offside. What is happening, man? VAR, give your head a shake. 1-1. See, we, I find this all the time in the teams that I'm managing, is that start the game, we go behind. And I don't know why. It's, we just don't get into the game till too late. Shoe and ball in. Oh, Shark clears. Perez. Perez tackles. Unlucky from Perez there. He just knocked it on there. It's a red card. Gamera throwing. Shoe and. Ah, oh, Perez. Guarantee Perez is awful again now. Because we're recording, so he won't, he won't put a shift in, will he? Big kick up. Perez can't win the header. Can he do much? Not really. Isherwood. Honsak. Honsak, by the way, I'm loving him. I love Honsak. I do think a lot of these players would struggle if we went up, which is annoying. That's it. Ball in. Seidel. Oh, he's at the post. Yes! It's the rebound. Offside. What is going on? I feel like I'm in a parallel universe here. How is he offside? How is he offside there? He's here. He literally just jumps back on. Honestly, unless we look at the second one, but it was his shot. Like, it's, it, never mind. Desi having a really good game in the middle there, which is really good to see. Youngster, I do want to be... He will be playing next year if we go up. Either way, he'll be playing next year. He needs game time to really progress. But he's got a wand of a foot, which we'd love to see. Shark. Go on, Sharky boy. Back post ball, Honsak to Sesse. Build out. Oh, can't get the shot away, defender in the way. Jatta. He fancies himself. He fancies himself, you know. Where are you going? Oh, well in. Chewing, big kick out to nobody. What a waste of a kick out, man. 2 1 at half time. Tight, tight game, this. Very tight game. We've had a good first half, though. See how everyone's doing. Think Shark off. Kemp on. And then Perez off. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put Hugo Nove on. I'm gonna really put him out there and see what he can do. Coming from Leipzig, you'd think you'd have some sort. Of, he's probably played in the system for a while. Kemp loses out straight away. Still not warm enough to play, but it's fine. Doing comfortably gets that one. Kemp will get in the game. He always does. He's a very, very good player for this level. Eidenheim beating Hanover two 0 If we win this game, there's still one point over us. We've chased him down really well though. So at one point we were, I think we were like six, seven points behind. So it's good to be back within touching distance. Big kick, Kemp. Wins it. Seidel. There's loads of men there, mate. You should have literally passed that about half an hour ago. Oh, wrong decision. Decided to take an extra few touches out on the wing and everyone else got marked. Muller heads it. Schnell that. Kemp. And find Seidel. Jatta. Pinsombi. 
plays it back. They're very comfortable just going backwards. They're not bothered at all. And then they're going to cut us apart here. Yeah, Doyle. Oh, save from Shewin. Unreal. Love to see that. I thought Doyle was going to hit an absolute bomb into that corner, but he didn't. Oh, lovely headed away. Nobody there, though. That new over here, maybe? I assume so. Can zombie ball in, Shewin. Comfortably collect. 61st minute now. Tess is starting a tire in the middle. He's lost his rating since he has tired. Ball in over, can't win the header. I'm thinking, hon yeah, we'll do it. We'll make some changes. See who we have to, to mess about with. Adrian Stanilex. Stan, Stan Ilwegs. I can't say your name, my friend. Right, I think we change them two round. Bring on him. Goller can come on the left. No, Burko can go on the left because I really want to give Burko some game time. 70th minute. These will come in probably a few minutes time. Glatzel. Gameyera. Oh, why have you not closed that door there? Why have you not closed that door when you took the heavy touch? Sobiak, lovely clearance. Took a heavy touch. All you had to do was put his foot in it. Didn't bother. Hey, yeah. What a ball to Jatta, by the way. Where, where has he come from there? How has he got that much space? What on earth, man? How is he? He's not that quick. I've seen him run about three times. He's not that quick. Just point it out in the eye. <laughs> oh, my days. Where is he coming from here, though? That's before. We had that exact chance before, right? And Schnell that couldn't get a shot away. They do, and it costs us 2-2. Two, two, 15 minutes remaining. Yeah, bring your short off as well, then. There's all the subs used for the today. They've got a throw of Wagnerman. Flatzel. Beats him again. Flatzel's had a field day down here, like, to be fair to the kid. Flatzel. Oh, I thought he got the ball. Oh, nice beta clears. We need to get men there, though. If you don't mind, um, step him up with it, boys. Jayamera. Oh, he's beat the right, the left back, sorry, again. Oh, come on, man. How easy do we make it? Selling's just come on, but he's just been done like that. How annoying, man. 3-2. Don't you see that again? What is he doing out there? 3-2 at Hamburg. We're going to lose to Hamburg again. Wagnerman. Meffert. Wagnerman. Latzel. They're passing around like we're children now. Doyle. Meffert. Out wide of Wagnerman. Thought Kemp was going to steal that. Shell that does, though. Oh, Nova. Oh, where's he going? Back to Burko. Nova, shell dart. Oh, what was that, man? Why has he gone so far out there? Kemp, can we get a good delivery here? Come on, mate. He kind of was a decent one as well. We just couldn't get the header. Kemp, shell dart. Yeah, he's Kemp's offside. Oh, no. Our, our, our record's gone. We're going to lose 3 2 at Hamburg. I'll be honest with you, I'm going to say it. Point, no. Hands together. No. Hand, hands on hips. No. We'll thrash arms. <laughs> I was trying to be reserved. But we'll thrash arms. I can't believe it. it's my birthday. It's my birthday and the boys have let me down. 16 games unbeaten and it ends. That's annoying. Hanover. I suppose we have to come back for high nine, don't we? That's the game we're going to come back for. But four points away from them now. Seven points clear of Hamburg. Honestly. Couldn't write it, could you? How has that just happened? We were so comfortable. The change to the left back kind of screwed us. What a bummer. But we're back for the Heidenheim game. Uh, not much more to say than that. Then what on earth has just happened? So there we go. I can't believe we just lost that again. 3-2. I think most games we've lost this season, if I just have a quick look, has been by... We've lost two games, or well, three games now this season. One include like four including the friendly all by a single goal we're playing so well so so well but that is going to be it we're going to come back for that Heidenheim game as their top it just, just makes sense really doesn't it but for now guys stay safe and i'll catch you next time